welcome to another episode of Code with Chris. In the last Xcode episode, we talked about uh, adding files to your Xcode project. In this one, we're going to talk about groups versus folder references. So let's get started. So we're going to be talking about groups versus folder references in this video. And we're going to be using the same Xcode project as we did in the last video for adding files to your Xcode project. So you can either download this project in the link below or click the annotation on the screen to download the Xcode project. So if you can remember, basically what I did in the last episode was organize my files in the file system the way I wanted them. And then I dragged it into the Xcode project navigator and added them as uh, groups. So if you can remember what I told you, these are individual file references. Each file in this project navigator is pointing, is referencing the file on the local file system, regardless of where I move this guy in the project navigator. So for example, with this view controller group and these files, if I were to go on the file system and I were to, let's say, rename my file or even delete my file, if I go back to Xcode, it would show that as a broken reference because I can't find that file. Now let me show you what happens with uh, a folder reference. So let me drag view controllers in again, but this time I'm going to include it as a, a folder reference. So it shows up in blue. Now if I rename it back, it fixes this. But also notice that for the folder reference, it kind of reflects what's in the file system. So let me let me show you that again. So if I go to viewcontroller.h and I add you know, some numbers below it, in Xcode Project Navigator, this file reference would be broken. But however, if I added the whole folder as a folder reference, it just takes whatever is in that folder and includes it in your project. Let me rename that back. Now just from the very fact that a folder reference includes all of these files in that folder into your Xcode project, that doesn't give you as fine-grained control as a group would because these are individual file references. So I can right-click an individual file and I can choose to delete the reference and I would delete the reference uh, in the Xcode project, but that file would still exist in my file system. With folder references, you can't do that because uh, you either include everything in that folder or you delete it off of the file system in that folder because it, it just picks up everything in that folder. And that also goes with target membership. So if you're creating an application with a single target, which is most of the time, then I guess it's not that big of a drawback for you. What I mean is this, if I click on a certain file and then I open up the inspector here on the right hand side, I can actually choose, you know, what target, if I had multiple targets, what target that this file would belong to. If I had a single target, then it would just be that one. And I could do this at a file level, at an individual file level in a group. In a, in a folder reference, I can't do that for these files in here. I have to control it at the folder level. So I would either have to include the whole folder and all of its contents in the target or don't include that folder at all. Another thing I forgot to mention is that with a folder reference, uh, don't think that you can drag files around in here and have it reflect on the file system if that was your goal. Uh, it doesn't. So it, it's kind of like a read-only thing where uh, if I try to drag this out, it's going to ask me if I want to make a copy of it or make a reference to it. And let's say I do that, it's just going to create a reference outside of it, but it's not going to change what's on my file system in this folder. So should you use folder references or should you use groups in your Xcode project? The common practice seems to be using groups, and that's what I prefer as well. 
uh, I don't like all my files in one big directory. I've, I've told you guys that in previous videos. So what I actually do is I organize my files in the file system and I drag them back into my project navigator as group references. But ultimately, I think it comes down to what you're comfortable with and what will make you the most efficient and keeps you organized. So there you have it. I think over time, the more you work with Xcode, the more you're going to discover what works for you. And now for your fact of the day. Did you know that a recent teenager survey done by market research firm Piper Jaffrey found that one third of US high school students now own iPhones? So that statistic is astonishing to me at least. I don't know about you guys. And I have a friend who had a baby girl a while back and she grew up playing with iPads and touch screens and stuff like that. And he told me one time she walked up to the TV and then tried to swipe the TV as if it were you know, some giant iPad. And you know what? The scary thing is that that's probably not too far off in the future. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this topic in terms of you know, the younger generation growing up with all of this technology around them. All right, see you guys next time.